back to my channel you're welcome to the first episode of fabric friday and i know you guys are wondering other what what is fabric friday well i decided to start another section here on my channel something related to sewing of course this is a sewing channel something related to sewing about styles illustration style analysis working with fabrics things that sewing related but they are not really tutorials now i don't mean i am not going to put up my tutorial my tutorial will still come up every week but this is another segment of my channel where i talk about styles illustration fabric fabrics and every other thing that will help your sewing journey so this is the very first episode and i want to start this with a style analysis before i go into the video i want to thank everybody that supported me so far i recently just hit 8,000 subscribers like I'm on top of the moon right now and without you guys I wouldn't have gotten to where I am today so I just want to say thank you thank you thank you and let's go on this journey together we can do it okay now the style we are considering today is this one here okay and this is a very simple and easy style and sometimes when I see why I said to start with style analysis before I go into other things style analysis will be a very constant thing here on fabric Friday is because I noticed that a lot of people see some styles and they are just confused and in one of my videos I'm going to link that video in the description box I talked about how to sew any style in the world and I gave like a breakdown of things you should do things that will help you grab a style and dissect it into different segments and it will enable you you know cut and sew that style effectively but after a while i realized that some people still don't understand and even if they do i still have to like take it step by step with you guys so that is why i'm starting with this style analysis now that was a very long explanation hope you get what i'm saying now we're starting with this style and looking at this style here this style is a gown and normally what i tell people is when you see a style don't just try and look at oh my god how did they cut this style no try to take it in segments so this is a gown and it's a gown with the flared it's a gown with an off shoulder bustier it's a gown with sort of like a wrap bow tie around the shoulder so when you want to cut this style the first thing you have to do is analyze the style so i'm looking at the gown in the gown i know i have a bustier i have a skirt and I have a flared. These are the three main compartments of this gown. So starting with the bustier, this is an off-shoulder bustier. So if you don't know how to cut an off-shoulder bustier, you have to learn how to cut an off-shoulder bustier. And I have a tutorial, of course, on how to cut an off-shoulder bustier. I'm going to link that tutorial in the description box. Now, this is an off-shoulder bustier. Let's move down to the other part. This is an off-shoulder bustier with a skirt. Normally, our skirts can extend from our from our navel point down to our knee point. But in this gown here, what I see is the skirt is starting almost like two or three inches away from the under bust. So you have like a short skirt here. This the length of the skirt didn't extend down to like the knee point. No, it's just like five inches away from the midpoint like what i'm seeing here depending on my eyes based on you it's just a little bit let me say about five inches away from you know the nail point now so this is a short skirt and of course if you want to cut this gown you have to learn how to first of all cut an off shoulder bust here then go about to cutting a short skirt okay just a skirt you don't have to bother about it's just a skirt that is length is shorter good now the next thing on this gown is a flare which is the down part and you can see this is a this is a 360 flare this is not like a 180 flare this is a 360 am i sure this is a flared. It can be a 360 flared. It can also be a 180 flared. So this is basically how to cut this gown. And I know you'll be like, oh, is it that simple? Yet it's that simple. Now this is a gown from the fabric. This is a lace fabric, which means this gown was lined. So first of all, it was lined with maybe a taffeta or um, a satin lining. It was lined with maybe a taffeta or satin and after it was first of all lined with a taffeta or satin if maybe the tailor is extra they might not go ahead to use like a normal lining to line the dress or they can just leave it like that so for the design on the that moved from around like the side to under the bust of the of the gown this is more like gathers this is a straight 
fabric and i think this is this could be either a taffeta or a a satin or a dull face depending on what the person is working with but this looks like if you ask me this looks like a satin i don't know maybe what you are saying maybe it's not a satin so they just sort of got a fabric and did some gathers and um uh, attached it to around to the side seam of the gown and extended it upwards the blouse and they did something like a bow tie around that place and they used they of course this this is needle work so they did something like they started with like a machine so they joined it to the side and extended it above the bust line then they took it towards the sleeves that's an off shoulder sleeves if you don't know and they did something like a bow tie and they stitched it now that those beads you are seeing there they use those beads to cover the stitches and also to create a design one thing about dressmaking is you have to be able to create a design to highlight your design and make it come out beautiful so if they just did the bow tie there and they allowed the bow tie to dr to drop they didn't just you know do it and leave it standing anyhow they allowed it to drop which also you know emphasize the, sh the off shoulder sleeve so that is a bow tie sort of a half bow tie because it's not like a really full bow tie with some beads all over it and you know it dropped halfway off shoulder bustier a short skirt and a flare this flare can be a 180 flare it can also be a 360 flare depending on what the person who made the dress depending on what she was looking at now this is just this is just the basic way on how to cut this style and how to sew the style and you can see that from this thing i just explained to you if you are looking at this dress like it's very difficult to cut it's very difficult to sew because of this little breakdown i have given you see that it is not all that difficult to cut and sew so let's say you don't know how to cut a bustier learn how to cut a bustier i have a tutorial on that you can check it up in my description box learn how to cut a skirt learn how to cut a flared line it properly keep trying and you will get the style sewing is just like photocopy what you as it is like copy and paste the way you are looking at it the way you you feel this is maybe how they cut it try it out that way you might just develop your own way your own method to cut and sew the style so this is it for today's episode of fabric friday if you enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel follow me on facebook and on instagram to come back next friday for another one and i'll see you in my next bye